Well, everything is pretty much exactly the way we left it last night. Now, I've been doing uh, quite a bit of thinking about how am I going to bend the, the radius on our spiders here. And uh, I've come up with an idea. Uh, down in my workshop, I have uh, little tiny ball bearings, like the, the entire bearing, um, that, that I, I used a lot of them in when I was making the big clock. I used some of them, and uh, I was thinking, <coughs> well, just, just a second here. Okay, I should have had this ready, but you can see I've got I've got this this metal dowel here, and I was thinking that what I could do is I could use that to to roll over the the edge, or over the end rather of the uh, arm, on the you know I should have the macro lens on here so that you can see what I'm doing, but but this is just way too big, but if I was to rig up a little uh, thing with a bearing on it, you know maybe bend a nail and well you know what. I think that it's really hard for me to, to describe what I'm thinking about here, so why don't I just go ahead and, and rig it up and show it to you. Okay, I will get the macro lens on, but you'll be able to see it a lot better if uh, you're not so zoomed in. And all it is is, is a nail here, a um, heavy, heavy nail, like bordering on a spike. <laughs> three, it was a three and a half inch nail. Uh, and you, you can see I've, I've, uh, what I've done here. Oh, th these green things, <laughs> they were from my grandson's Lego uh, set. I think it had something to do with trees. Anyway, I, I've, uh, I just had it down in the workshop and I uh, used the compressed air to try and blow out as much dust and what have you out of the bearings. And I just wanted to sort of run it askew a little bit here to make sure I'm going to get any workshop grease off of the uh, surface there because I am planning on going over the top and if there's any grease on there well then the the paint isn't going to stick to it as well but I, I, I do believe I probably got it pretty good here um, okay now we'll put on our macro lens Okay, very gently here now. Now, if we look at our drawing, it appears that where this hub is on, on each one, that it is, it doesn't bend down from there. The, the bend doesn't actually start, it appears to me, until afterwards. So, now remember, the way I'm going to be bending it is because I'm going to be rolling the, the bearing on these which is going to make these curve up like this um, so now this is going to be the first one and you're going to get to see it with me okay now let's just go very gently from about here out all right kind of moved out of your field of view there But it uh, it does appear. Maybe it could have gone just a <clears throat> excuse me, just a little bit more here. It looks pretty good. Now let's try this front one here. Well, it might have been too much. It's kind of fun to see if I can do this on camera. Maybe I better check the monitor.
you know, I'm thinking that if I had to put a little handle on, on this uh, tool, it would be easier to handle. Could that be why they're called handles? Okay. Oh, too much. You know, I haven't really figured out how, how this is supposed to, uh, you know, go go on the uh, in relation to the other pieces of photo etch. Okay, it looks like there's two more to go here, three more to go. Oops, I say oops a lot, don't I? Okay, let's let's just turn this over and see how we've done here. Um, okay, this one here has to be bent just a little bit more. Kind of crooked too. I think this was the first one we did. Okay, let's turn it over. Trying to, trying to grab it in a place where it's, uh, whoops, oh, there I go again. All right. That's not too bad. I think that's kind of the way it's supposed to go. I might be able to, you know, sort of tw uh, tweak those into place um yeah I, I think I think this is going to be okay I, I'll bet you it's a lot better than a lot of people did and it's a lot worse than a lot too I imagine anyway okay we've poked at it enough okay I'm going to try and do this, uh, you might say, live, so I don't know how it's going to go. Now, it's quite early this morning. Um, as you can see, if you notice the bottom right-hand side of the screen, it says 7.48. Well, that's the actual time right now. I've been up since 5, and I've been sort of trying to wrap up this sunrise thing. Um, and I'm go just going through the comments. I want to make sure that... I haven't missed any. Now, I, if we go back about uh, uh, three or four days, I guess three days, uh, this was the very first vote, you might say. Uh, somebody named Allison picked number one. That was the first one. Then we got uh, uh, approximately, I believe, about 45 more votes after that. Now, the, re the way you will know if I got your vote is I would have made some sort of a comment like most of them say something to the effect of the your vote for your most like sunrise has been counted in uh, or it'll be something like that I might have uh, customized my comment a little bit uh, depending if there was something else in the in the comment anyway uh, I have perused through these uh, getting through and I don't see any comments that I have missed at all 
which which means that <clears throat> I uh, like I I do like to reply to a comment even if it's just a happy face or a thumbs up. Uh, I appreciate everybody's comment. I know I've said that before, but we are, we get our way all the way up to the top here, and like I say, I'm just watching. Okay, so the very last vote we got was this morning, early this morning. Uh, somebody who calls themselves Elvin, and uh, Elvin voted voted for number nine. Uh, the very first one back there, uh, Allison voted for number one. Now I'll show you what I've done here. I'm, I'm, maybe I should just refresh the page here, just just in case there was one that just came in right now that I missed. Okay, no, there's no new uh, no new comments. Okay, now let's go down to Corel Draw here. I've already drawn it in this morning. Now this is what I've come up with. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've made a chart. And the idea is we've got our sunrises, uh, one through nine, and I can take one of these yellow dots and I can drop it in, well, the, the first one was, was, uh, was it number one? Uh, yeah, the, uh, I think it was Allison had number one. So I'll, I'll take the yellow dot like this and I'm going to move it over and I'm going to drop it into the square. Okay, so, so now we've, we've got that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and quickly do this and use the time lapse because uh, we we don't want to uh, be taken all morning to do this. So uh, just just uh, bear with me here. Well, it appears that the winner is number nine. I don't think I made any mistakes because uh, uh, I did count all the numbers and I came up with 45 numbers. There was 50 dots, five dots left over. So that's 45, I got them all. I do believe I got them all in the, in the right place. It seemed that nobody liked number three, but it looked more like a, a rainstorm moving in rather than a sunrise, didn't it? Anyway, uh, we got it. Number nine is the winner. And thanks for having fun with me. This, this was, uh, yeah, it was kind of fun doing this, wasn't it? Well, at least I thought it was. And <laughs> now let's get on with the model. Okay, I've just finished editing out those last few minutes that you just saw, including the sunrise contest, or whatever you want to call it. And number nine was the winner. But there's, there's something I just wanted to mention here, and that is that just because your number did not win, or maybe wasn't even close, doesn't mean it wasn't a nice sunrise. And it, remember, it was what appealed to you. So in that case, that was the best one. Um, now, when I was editing out these last few um, scenes here, and I was wondering, where, where's that little part that I, don't tell me I've lost it. Oh no, here it is. Okay, Th this piece right here is supposed to go uh, somehow like that and support right in the center of that hub. At least uh, I, I believe that's what it's supposed to go. And I was wondering, is it possible there was maybe a little divot or something right in the center there and I've got them bent the wrong way because because this thing here has to go like this not the other way, not from the other way. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. So uh, uh, let's just move our macro lens in and have a nice close look. Okay, I'm not seeing anything on the inside here of the hub. But if we bent them the wrong way, that would mean there's a divot on the other side. I'm just going to uh, turn this over and, and re reposition here. Okay, I have the light reflecting from the back. And if there was any divots on the, on the top of those hubs, we'd see them. So we, we were lucky. Usually Murphy's Law is against me in a case like that. If there's a way to do it wrong, I'll do it wrong. 
Um, yeah, so it didn't matter which way we had them up. You know, I, w I was just thinking here, uh, if I was to turn this over the other way, just let me remove the uh, rubber uh, protection thing off of Mr. T's poking device here. Okay. Now here we are with my surgically sharp point. What if, now from the other side of course, we were to poke a little divot and so that the, that part, this part right here, would have a, have a place to sort of rest in. I, I don't know if it's a good idea or not. It might not be a good idea. Maybe I better not. Maybe I better wait and see how exactly this is supposed to go. Now I was just thinking a minute ago, what would a person do if they did not have a little ball bearing? Now I was just thinking that I've been doing a lot of just thinking in this episode. I should be doing more gluing and painting. Now I'm lucky in, in a sense that my workshop is just loaded with all kinds of stuff like this. So I can usually, you know, make something up. Uh, but, you know, to, to use something like this, it just won't work on a part like that. You know, if there was just one little tiny strand that you had to make a, a nice smooth arc, arc out of. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, it, I, you know, I could see where this would work. But it's, it's uh, unless you were to, I don't know. Anybody got any ideas? Just, just uh, you know, in case there's somebody out there watching and they're thinking, well, now what am I going to do? I got this kit. How am I going to make this radius? I don't have a ball bearing. Um, just trying to be helpful here. Early this morning when I first got up and I pulled back my curtains on the front windows, out on the other side of the yard was a little rabbit looking back at me. And what was unique about it, at least I thought it was unique, is the way its ears were perked up and it was looking at me. I guess it saw the movement in the window. Thought you'd like to see it. Well, we are slowly but surely moving on here. Uh, heavy on the word slowly. Now, what I'm going to probably do is I'll do this second one off camera. Maybe this evening. But a few minutes ago I, I got a, a delivery and what it was was the uh, among other things was the uh, high definition uh, monitor that's to go with my a uh, new surveillance system, which was probably going to be here next week, all being well. So I'm kind of excited about, uh, you know, hooking that up and seeing if I can't maybe run a cable over here to the model table. And I, I wouldn't mind having a, a monitor uh, on, on display and, and be able to watch what's going on. Uh, now I, I do have my, my regular TV uh, sitting here right beside me. Some of you know, know exactly where it is. And uh, it, uh, I could probably use that. The only difference is the, the uh, surveillance system is 4K and my TV is just 1K, in other words 1080p. So I don't know if the two can be hooked together or, or what. I don't know what, exactly what I'm going to do. But what I do know is that I, I want to uh, take a look at my monitor and hook it up and see if I can't get it going. At least I can hook it up to my computer which is 4K and uh, make sure that it all works okay. So I'm kind of anxious and excited actually to do that today. So I'm going to call it quits for this afternoon. Oh and anyway at, at 3.30, you remember Monday, Wednesday and Friday what happens? Well today is Friday. So my neighbor's coming over for coffee at 3.30 so I, I got to wrap this up. Uh, it's, I, I realize we are not going anywhere near as fast as some of you would like as far as completion of the model goes. Uh, well, I'll tell you something, I'm not going as fast as I would like either, but I'm, I'm running into reasons to not work on it, like this airbrushing. I, I don't know, maybe, 
Maybe I've got to change ways that I'm, the way I'm doing things here. Maybe I've got to start just doing it by hand. I, I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> what I do know is we're going to wrap it up today. So thanks for watching. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.